Good morning. We're all packed up, but we literally have to cross this river before we start hiking today. Marty just went and checked to see if there's a shallower spot, but there's not. So uh, while Marty changes into his underwear, I'm gonna cross this river. Not looking forward to this. Yep. Oh, it's like a really cold bath in the morning. Whew. My legs are numb. Whew. Wow. That is cold. Oh. No. Sweet mother! That is not how I like to start my mornings. Nope. Not refreshing? No. <laughs> uh. Welcome to South Esk Lake. Uh, tonight, we are gonna make some farfalle pasta with a bolognese tomato sauce and garlic bread. Uh, we've hiked today, it wasn't that hard of a day. I think we only did about 13 and a half kilometers. Um, but we're now, what did we figure, Marty? 50 some odd kilometers from the trailhead? At the halfway point of our, we're doing 110K, so we're almost at the halfway point. So here we are halfway through and we're gonna make a delicious pasta dinner tonight. So Brian Patton in his book uh, explains that South S Lake is probably one of the most remote lakes in any of the Canadian national parks. So uh, perhaps Twin Tree Lake in uh, North Jasper here on the north boundary. Uh, we're just off of the south boundary. We, like I said, we traveled about 13 and a half kilometers off of the south boundary up to South S Lake. And um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy a nice backcountry meal tonight. So let's get some water boiling. So while our water is starting to boil, let's get our uh, garlic bread set up and ready for the fire. I'm gonna use this pocket boy Serrated knife. Works great as a bread knife. Let's try not cut the cutting board open. And I've made a garlic butter before I came out. So we'll spread our garlic butter all over this. We're gonna put lots on it. I'm just gonna let that melt into there while we're Put it at the back of the fire while we're boiling our pasta and making our tomato sauce. Delicious. So I'll just get it back in the tin foil. Wrapped up. And we'll just hide it at the back of the fire and let this warm up nicely. So we got our garlic bread working. Water's starting to boil. Let's get our pasta sauce together. We're gonna take our dehydrated beef that I uh, dehydrated at home, seasoned it up. And we'll throw it in the pan. With that, we'll put our uh, spaghetti sauce seasoning. Slip that between some boards so it doesn't go anywhere. We need tomato paste. Pretty much the full can.
and two cups of water. So water from South S Lake. Put in here, we'll mix it all up. So let's get that on the fire and start reducing it and rehydrating our beef. Water's boiling, let's get our farfalle noodles in there. Uh, Marty asked earlier what the farfalle noodle is. It's a little bow tie pasta. Now, uh, they named this, the Italians made this. It's uh, quite easy to make. You just pinch it while it's wet and it turns into a bow tie, but they named it after the famous Italian man who invented the bow tie, so that's why it's called the farfalle noodle. Ah. That's an actual lie, but I love telling that story. Is this a different kind of pasta, Evan? Like a quick uh, no, it'll cook? Take, no, no, it'll, it'll take it's, 11 it's a, it's a usual pasta. Yeah. Pasta's boiling hard. Should be ready shortly. Garth bread is nice and hot and our pasta sauce is ready. So as soon as our pasta is done, we'll strain it, toss it in the pasta sauce and put on a plate. We'll have a delicious dinner and then I can start making dessert but you'll have to wait for another video for that. Fast is boiled we're just gonna strain it. There's not gonna be a ton of water in there. Get it in our, our sauce. Oof. Beautiful. Oh man. I don't know if you can smell this through that camera, but it smells good. Got our garlic bread, and let's go to the plate. Okay, we'll get our pasta on the plate first. Stack the garlic bread up to make it look good, or you can put it off to the side. Choice is yours. Save some olives from dinner the other night. Let's throw some olives on there as a garnish. And last, definitely not least, a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there. bit of a uh, Malden salt we're good to go time for dinner two nights ago when we we're at the cairn I was telling a story about the wolf mm -hmm. and I you know when I go back to a, a place I've been before or if I don't go back when I go somewhere and I recount the place I've been, every place has a story. And now, and a lot of times the stories are because of an animal or something that happened, but 
I have a whole new set of stories, man, because everywhere I go, if I ever, I don't have to come back here. I'll tell the story about being at South Esk Lake and eating, you know, the, the bow tie pasta or the story last night of eating the, um, what did we eat last night? Oh, the salmon, the potato salmon potato salad, salad you know, yeah. so I got a whole, thank you, Evan. I got a whole new set of memories. So we don't think anybody's been in this camp yet this year, except for a cleanup crew. There was one set of footprints. That's my guess. Yeah. They landed a helicopter nearby. They cleaned up a bit of logs, checked out things. Just do a survey, make a note if they have to come back in the next few years. Yeah. Beautiful campground though. Absolutely. We said it before, man. If any of you park wardens want to watch this and come on and, and have uh, Evan cook for you, please. You just come and let us know, invite us. You make sure you have the keys for the cabin. I'll hike the food in. No, no, they'll bring it in by helicopter. Sure. Or by horse. Horse would be really cool. I think so. We did say today, though, we'd get pretty sore quickly. We don't ride horses very often. We've got a big day ahead of ourselves tomorrow. So, a nice big carbohydrate meal tonight. No. Give us the energy for the... That's not even fuel for tomorrow, man. This is, climb. this is just resupplying what we burned yeah, today. True. Wow. I'm going to close it out. <laughs> yeah. If you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Check out Marty's video for the trip that we're doing. You're going to see some crazy stuff. Uh, the adventure is only half over, so we still got four days to go. But uh, really appreciate you watching. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas for any backpacking meals that you've done yourself that would be cool for me to do out here. Thanks, and we'll see you later. Cheers. We're vlogging. Now you know why I wore the uh, orange coat. If I spill on myself, I won't look bad.